I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at reading your own PGE smart meter. Um, now, PGE has been putting these new smart meters on a lot of homes, and one of the nice things about it is that it has a digital readout that actually shows some cumulative data and also some real-time data. So I can look at this and see my total kilowatt hours used so far, which is 2,841 since the unit was installed here. Um, and you can actually, you know, measure that uh, at the beginning of a month, for example, and then at the end, and you can see um, for that month exactly how many kilowatt hours of power you used. Now, the next metric that's going to come up here is going to be my current usage. So right now I'm using 1.109 kilowatts, uh, which means, you know, a little over 1,000 watts in the house. And that's probably reflective of the fact that I have some major appliances on, um, and I've got, you know, a certain background load. But it's nice to be able to get a real-time read, and obviously it's a little inconvenient to have to go outside, but you can use that to figure out you know, how much power your air conditioner is drawing or how much uh, background power your house is using when you're not actually using any specific appliances. So kind of helpful to have that very accurate real-time read because this is what you're actually going to end up being charged for. And then the final piece here, I believe it's telling me what the current line voltage is, which should be the next metric along here. Um, so 245 volts uh, coming in on this 240 volt line. So it's a two phase uh, connection here. So that 240 gets split into two 120 volt phases inside the house for the house current. Um, but you can see it's you know 245, basically um, what we want to be seen. Uh, I assume that's what that's telling me there. And uh, you can see it's showing me the ideal voltage is 240. Um, so just useful to be able to take a look at that. Again, to get uh, some cumulative data that you can track over time, um, and also to be able to get the current usage so that you can tweak and see and uh, kind of measure very accurately how much your house is using overall. And also you could, you know, turn your air conditioner on and then come out and see what the reading is and uh, that way figure out how much power a specific appliance is drawing. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.